Hello, and welcome. So, today's the big day. Back in January, I did an unboxing video about the Wimac Dolphin, and uh, today, uh, it's now June, and um, we can test it out. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so it looks like uh, the batteries are going to go here. Where originally, back in January, I thought they were back there. But it makes more sense that they'd be more in the middle of the ship here. So uh, I think we have to do that. And based on the direction, I think we need D cells. So we'll check that out. So we have two D cell batteries. We're gonna put them right in here. Sounds good. Okay, now the Wimac Dolphin, it has the battery compartment here, as we've shown already. And back here is how you turn it on. So it's actually got a switch in the back, and you just turn it on, and there it goes. Then your propeller is working. And that's right here. See? Now, the cool thing about the Waymac Dolphin is that it has ballast tanks to help keep it stable. Now when I pull it up, you see a stream of water coming out. Okay, that is where it fills up. That little slit right there in the bottom of the hole. Now I put it back in, it'll fill back up and adjust the weight of the ship and balance it. Pretty cool.
Now for the record, I'd like to point out a few things. When we tested the dolphin out today, it was probably one of the windiest days that I can remember this past month. So um, the wind did affect how it operated a little bit. And it also filled the pool with a lot of nature because <laughs> it has a lot of leaves and sticks. Every time I cleaned the pool to make this video, it filled right back up with other floaties. So if you see them floating by, believe me, I keep a clean pool. <laughs> Today was the exception. Okay, so there you have it. Our maiden voyage of the Wemac Dolphin for a battery powered toy ship that was uh, made in the 1960s, so it's over 50 years old. It performed really well with the original components on the inside, the original motor, everything. Um, it is a wonderful ship. If you can find one at a flea market, a thrift store, uh, even train shows have them sometimes, pick it up because you can do a lot with it. It's um, really good just as a battery operated toy. But if you check YouTube, there's a lot of people that converted this to radio control. There goes Zippy. <laughs> there's a lot of people that converted this to radio control and um, they work really well as a radio control boat. Um, you really have all the makings of one here so you know pick it up if you can find one um, again they're vintage they are really really nice and they just don't make toys like this anymore so um, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, please feel free to subscribe and um, you know we like to do boats in the pool kind of content so who knows what we'll make next so thanks for watching